All right, we'll have a little look in the, the greenhouse because I've been potting up some small sables, various types. So some I uh, brought from eBay as little seedlings. So we've got uh, Mexicano and uh, Bermondana, um, which have just been up potted. And we've got some sable miners also at the top shelf there, which have just been bumped up a pot size. They're in very small pots, they sort of germinated this time last year and they obviously started to get roots out the bottom. So we've up potted them. Um, brought a lot of the sables, the bigger ones, out of the hothouse into the greenhouse as I need to start swapping things about. So we've got a couple of uh, quite nice riversides starting to get decent fronds on them so they are going to go in the garden this year at some point. Um, and yeah we've got some more sables here um, and also the Brahea Amata that I grew from seeds last year and look at that roots come out the bottom I put them in deep pots because I didn't want to disturb the roots as they're growing and they've already come out the bottom but I don't think I'll be doing anything with them just yet because they're still very small even though they've got sort of well they're saying that this one's got actually got five leaves on it while the other one's only got three but yeah both germinate at the same time um yeah we've got some sable louisiana and what's this one sable mccurtain so yeah we've got lots of different sables going on and uh I haven't really sort of done anything in here, so we can see there's a lot of stuff needs sorting out. But um, yeah, I also did did uh, put up the sable palmettos, so they're in bigger pots now, so they can start putting on some good growth, hopefully. Um, yeah, so yesterday, uh, being Saturday, today Sunday, so yeah, yesterday I was in the front garden planting the the big. Uh, Bootier uh, odorata in the centre raised bed, and I also got a Brahea amata in one of the other raised beds, so that's sort of neatened up at the front now. So I may do a video update on that at some point because I haven't really done anything out the front for or well, probably since last year. Right, so what else? I've just repotted the uh, Nico palm of Opalistylist sapida. Um, so it's in this size pot, which is a good size pot, but we can now see that's a lot deeper that pot, so that will uh, that'll do that for a couple of years. And that's been doing quite well, that's been kept cold all over winter. Um, starting to get quite hot in the hot house where, where I did overwinter it, so it got down to about one degree, so it never saw frost, but got down pretty cool most nights. And uh, yeah, absolutely fine. Um, nice spear coming, so hopefully we'll get another spear or two in the summer. I didn't want direct sunlight, this palm, that'll just burn up. They don't like, they, they're a shade loving palm, and they do like cooler conditions. So I'm not really going to have it in the, the greenhouse here, I'm moving it outside uh, in a shady position. Right, so I think that's it really. I mean, there's a just a lot of stuff needs sorting out in here. I've got all sorts of rubbish that just needs clearing up. Um, right, so we'll leave it there. Another quick one for you. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.